What's up guys and welcome to another deck concept. Today we'll look at the Supreme Trident Dragon deck concept. So this concept involves a lot of dragons as you can see here, as well as Trident Dragon to deliver the final blow because that's the deck concept based around him. So yeah, let's get right into it. So first up we got Trident Dragon. Trident Dragon is a level 10 dragon type synchro monster requiring a dragon tuner and one or more non-tuner dragon type monsters. So this is very dragon based, you could say. As well as it can only be synchro summoned and cannot be spot summoned by other ways, so you gotta be careful of that. When this card synchro summoned, you can target up to two cards you control, destroy those targets, and if you do, it can attack one more time during this battle phase. So basically, this card can attack up to three times during that battle phase that he was synchro summoned, so that's pretty massive. So we got the Heretics for our dragon engine sort of thing. We are going to run a lot of engine in this deck, but Heretics is the prime dragon engine, I would say. We have Heretic Dragon of the Set, Tefnuit, Sue. We're also running the Exceed Monster, Heretic Dragon King of a Tomb, to spy summon our Dragon type monsters from our deck to utilize their effects. We have the Vanilla Dragon Wattail Dragon. It's a light target, so that's really good. We've got Labyrinth Dragon, which is a Dragon Tuner monster, which is really good. Next up, we have the Dragoonities. Dragoonities actually offer a lot in the stack because of their field spell, Dragon Ravine. Ravine is still semi-limited on the balance for whatever reason, but we still have triple terraforming, so that's really good, so we can just search out Dragon Ravine that way. So this card has two effects. Once per turn, you can discard one, of, one card from your hand to the graveyard to activate one of these effects. Add one level 4 or lower Dragoonie monster from your deck to your hand, or send one Dragon-type monster from your deck to the graveyard. So we have Phallix, and we have Ducks. Ducks will be normal summoned, and then Ducks will equip the Phallix from your graveyard to the Ducks. Then the Phallix will spot summon itself, then you have that level 6 synchro play to create Dragoonie Knight Gay Derg, which has the effect to once per turn during your main phase, add one level 4 or lower dragon type or wing beast type monster from your deck to your hand, then discard one dragon type or wing beast monster from your hand to the graveyard. Really useful effect. We also have Dragon Dragoonie Knight Vajrayana. It also has the ability to special summon, well, maybe not special summon, equip the Dragonity Phallix from your graveyard to it, and then the Phallix will special summon itself, and then we have that level 8 synchro play right there. And we have Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon because with the Phallix being a tuner monster and the Dragoonie Knight Vajrayana is a non tuner synchro monster, you can make Crystal Wing very easily. We have Black Wing Zephros the Elite for the Gildurg to search out and then you discard him. And then Zephros the Elite can just, you know, bounce back a card you control, such as Dragon Ravine even, to Special Summon itself, which is really nice. We also have Miss Valley Baby Rock, which also goes into the famous combo of Gildurg, with being able to search out the Baby Rock and discard it, which then becomes a free level 2 tuner monster for yourself. Next up for the Supreme part of the deck, we have the Supreme King cards. We have the Supreme King Servant Dragon Dark Worm. What a mouthful that is, right? Level 4 Dragon type monster with two effects. Its monster effect being if you control no monsters while this card's in your graveyard, you get to special summon it from your graveyard. And then if this card's normal or special summoned once per turn, you can add one Supreme King Gate card from your deck to your hand. If this card's in your Pendulum Zone while you control no monsters, you get to place once per turn, you get to place one Supreme King Gate card from your deck to your other Pendulum Zone. However, you cannot Pendulum Monsters except for Dark Monsters this turn. So this card can search out two cards. We have the uh, Supreme Gate Infinity and Supreme King Gate Zero. So they have the Pendulum Scales of 0 and 13, which is really awkward in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because now you can actually Pendulum Summon level 1 and level 12 monsters, which is quite absurd. So Supreme Gate King Infinity has the Pendulum effect where you cannot Pendulum monsters as when you have a monster you control. So basically you need to have no monsters in order to utilize its Pendulum summon mechanics sort or of thing. Supreme King Gate Zero has the effect where if you have another Supreme Gate King card from your in your other Pendulum zone, which is Infinity, you get to destroy both of them to search out a fusion spell card which is the main purpose of these guys right here, but you could technically Pendulum Summon with them. In addition to Dragon Ravine being able to mill these Servant Dragons such as Dark Worm to the Graveyard to Special Summon itself, we also are running the Dragon Shrine, which enables to send a Dragon-type monster from our deck to the Graveyard, but if you milled a normal Dragon such as the uh, Wattail Dragon or Labyrinth Dragon, you can mill one more Dragon-type monster as well, 
which enables us to um, add more dragons to the graveyard. We are also running a reoccurring nightmare because the uh, monsters of the Supreme K King monsters have zero defense and they're dark monsters, which is really nice to add two targets back to your hand. We also are running the Vector Pendulum, the Draco Lord, because this card allows you to um, get more targets in the graveyard for a reoccurring nightmare, as well as it has zero defense, so that's why it's a target for a reoccurring nightmare. It's a Dragon Vanilla monster, so you can mill it with Dragon Shrine, or summon it off a Heretic monster even, because it is a vanilla monster. And it has a Pendulum skill of 3, so you could actually utilize that Pendulum skill as well. We have Armageddon Knight for more Dark Mills as well. Yes, we're running Shadals because we have the ability to search out Shadal Fusion with our Supreme Gate King monsters. So now we have the Shadal Fusion in our hand, and hopefully our opponent has an extra deck monster so that we can utilize Shadal Fusion, right? So we have Squamata, Beast, and Shadal Dragon. We have the Earth Target, Carbon Dawn. So this card allows you to actually banish itself from the graveyard to spell something a level 7 or lower dragon type normal monster from your deck to your side field, which is Wattail Dragon, Labrite Dragon, or Vector Pendulum. So that's really nice with Carbon Dawn here. Which means we have El Shadal Shikanaga because of the Carbon Dawn being Earth and the Elder Shadal Monster being Shadal Monsters, right? We're also running El Shadal Windigo because of the Dragoonities. Dragoony Phallus is a wind monster, which is really useful in the graveyard for the Dragoonity Ducks to actually go off, right? So that's why we're running Windigo as well. We also have instant fusion because if we already had Shadal fusion or we can't make use of Shadal fusion because your opponent didn't have the right monsters, right? We can use the Norden for more shenanigans, right? Other support include Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, Light Pulsar Dragon, Queen Dragon Daijin, which is really nice because of a generic rank 4, as well as you can special summon a level 5 or higher dragon monster from your graveyard back to your field. But its effects are negated and cannot attack during that turn. Also, other dragon type monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle, which is really nice. We have Coral Dragon, a dragon tuner monster. It's also generic, so that's really nice. We have Beatrice the Eternal Lady for the controlled mills. M7 to bring back our monsters from our grave back to our hand, or bounce a monster on the field back to the owner's hand. We also have Summoner Monk for the uh, rank 4 Queen Dragon that plays, as well as can special summon the Supreme Servant Dragon Dark Worm to your south field, or activate Arm Dark Arm again and then mill like Black Wing, Zephyrus the Elite. Lots of shenanigans with Summoner Monk as well. Running through a combo, we'll start off with these five cards. Let's say your opponent didn't have an extra deck summon monster, so we can't utilize Shadal Fusion, but we can still make a play. So at, we'll start off with the Dragon Ravine. We'll activate its effect, destroying our Falx to search our ducks. We'll activate Dragon Shrine's effect, sending our Wattail Dragon to the graveyard. And since Wattail Dragon was a vanilla monster, we get to send another Dragon type monster from our deck to the graveyard as well. We'll send the Supreme Servant King Dragon Dark Worm, and then we'll activate Dark Worm's effect. Since we control no monsters, we get the special summon from the graveyard. And since he was special summon, we get to search out our other Supreme King card, which is Gate Infinity. But next, we'll activate Infinity and Zero to our Pendulum Zone, then we'll activate Supreme Gate Zero's effect, destroying them both to search out a Fusion spell card, which will be the Instant Fusion. Next we'll Normal Summon Dragoonie Ducks to re-equip our Phallix and then Special Summon to our Southfield Phallix, then we'll Synchro Summon level 6 with our Ducks and Phallix to Synchro Summon into our Dragoonie Dite Gale Derg. Gale Derg will activate its effect, once per turn during the main phase we get to search out our Zephyr Blackwing Zephyrus the Elite, then we'll discard him to the graveyard immediately. Next up, we'll activate Zephyrus Effect, bouncing back our Dragon Ravine to special summon itself, and we'll take 400 points of damage. And then we'll activate Instant Fusion to special summon back our Norden from our extra deck. Then we'll special summon back our Dragoon Phallix from our graveyard. Next we'll, next, we'll Synchro Summon level 6 with our Phallix and our Zephyrus into our Dragoon Knight Vadriana. This Synchro Summon is okay because uh, Blackwing Zephyros is a Winged Beast monster, so that qualifies as the requirements for Vadriana. Next, we'll activate Vadriana's effect since it was Synchro Summon. We get to re equip our Phallix and then Special Summon once again. Next, we'll Synchro Summon level 6 with our Phallix and our Norden into our Coral Dragon. Next up, we'll exceed with our two Dragoonian Knight monsters, which are two level 6 Dragon type monsters, conveniently into our Heretic Dragon King Atum. Next, we'll activate our Dragon Ravine 
right now, once again, because we bounced it back with Zephros, we'll activate Ravine's second effect to discard our Shadal Fusion to the graveyard to send our Light Pulsar Dragon to the graveyard. Next, we'll activate the Harag Dragon King of Tombs effect, detaching one Exceed material to special summon from our deck Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Now, its attack and defense will be 0 0, but its effects are still full intact. Next, we'll activate the Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon's effect, special summoning back our Light Pulsar Dragon we just milled to the graveyard. Next, we'll Synchro Summon level 6 with our Tuner Dragon monster, Coral Dragon with our level 4 non Tuner monster, Servant Dragon Darkworm into the level 10 trident dragon next trident dragon and coral dragon's effect will activate coral dragon will net us one more card and an additional draw and then trident dragon will destroy both our light pulsar dragon and our red eyes darkness metal dragon at the same time next we'll activate light pulsar's effect since it was destroyed we get to specimen a dark dragon type monster from our deck or from our graveyard back to the field which will be the red eyes darkness metal dragon in its full attack points now and then we'll, the Red Eyes will be able to special summon a Dragon type monster, which could be the Light Pulsar, but we could go more offensive and bring back the Dragoon Knight we just detached from a tomb, Gjeldurg. Gjeldurg will now be able to activate its effect once again because now it's a reborn uh, Gjeldurg, right? So we get to once per turn add a Wing Beast monster such as the Mist Valley Baby Rock, and then Baby Rock will discard itself to the graveyard. And then the Rock will be special summoned. Get the Synchro Summon level 8 with our Gelderg and our Mist Rock into the Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon to our, secure our victory right here. So this is what this deck looks like. It's a giant mess, I would say, but it works somehow together. I definitely wanted to uh, make more use of the Supreme part of the deck, but I think that's better qualified for another deck because in this deck I'm just trying to utilize Trident Dragon, so to speak. But this deck is uh, like a one trick pony type thing, if you don't get your combos off or the wrong hand, you're definitely dead. But that's most of my decks, right? But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys later, hopefully.